Hello everyone, I'm Evan Winger and this is Sports and Politics. Los Angeles is tanned and well rested and ready to pitch for the United States Olympic Committee in a bid to win over the International Olympic Committee's hearts and minds to land the 2024 Summer Olympics. Apparently, Los Angeles elected officials and business leaders are going to ignore what Boston area residents told the USOC. We don't want the Olympics and the cost of picking up billions of dollars worth of debt. Los Angeles officials don't see it that way, and they want the games. In fact, the Los Angeles bid book claims the LA Olympics would make $161 million in profit. In any event, Los Angeles elected officials seemingly are not bothered with the provision of the IOC contract that ended the Boston bid. The host city contract doesn't hold the International Olympic Committee responsible to pay for cost overruns and sticks taxpayers with those costs. The IOC acts as if it's a country and makes trade demands, and many cities are now telling the IOC no. The Los Angeles Coliseum would get an $800 million renovation with $500 million coming from the University of Southern California. USC is a private entity. Where will they get the money for the stadium facelift? From student fees or raising tuition? That should be answered. The Olympic Village would be done by private investors. What sort of tax breaks and incentives is Los Angeles offering? Will there be payments in lieu of taxes for developers or will they pay full property tax? Why does LA need the Olympics if the city wants to implement a public works project? The USOC has to submit a bid by September 15th to be in the running for the 2024 event. Paris, Hamburg, and Rome are in the game, but the field of candidates who want the games grows smaller because the games cost too much money.